good morning. We're in eastern Washington. Just started gala harvest, actually the second day of gala harvest here at this ranch. And we're color picking galas. So galas tend to ripen over a period of time and in any particular tree, some apples will be ready, some won't. We go through by color and pick the reddest ones when they're ready to go. So we're looking for for good red color, hopefully around the whole apple. Sometimes they're a little bit stripy on the back side. But this means when they develop color that the sugars are advancing and getting to be good eating quality. It's a challenge to color pick because uh, we're paying the people by piece, so they want to fill as many bins as possible, and we want as pretty fruit in the bin as possible. So one of the guidelines we use is we'll tell them, pick the fruit you want to eat today and leave the green ones behind. It doesn't always happen because money is such a driver for everything. But we get a pretty good job done. And this year there's a lot of wonderful galas in the state. Crop load generally is a little smaller. There's a mix of sizes. We have big fruit and small fruit and everything in between. So it's going to make a, a great manifest, I think, for the industry. We're also on the edge of starting uh, Goldens and Red Delicious and Grannies. Everything lines up and we just continue until we're done with Pink Ladies at the end. Right now we're still in Bartlett Harvest in some areas and uh, Anjo Pears are a little ways away yet. We may be taking some early Grannies by the end of this week and looking hard at some early Red Delicious too. Honeycrisp have just barely started in the earliest areas, so we've received our first load of those and we'll be packing some of them this week.